Good morning, Dangles Cryptos. The new year is upon us. The 2021 brand new year, first, second year of the decade. Hopefully, 2020 was not a representation of how the whole decade will go. But we'll find out together, together. So make sure you subscribe so we can go through this together because life is hard and now we have each other here in the Dingles community. And make sure you stay tuned till the end because I got a little uh, New Year's surprise right here, guys. I'm going to be lighting this off in this cup. Why? Because, hey, I just bought I just bought house insurance, guys. I just bought a house. And now I just bought house insurance. So why not uh, take a little chance, guys? Because they deserve to earn their premium. I paid them a lot in premium. They deserve to earn it, guys. So we're going to do that because I don't like not earning, having my insurance company earn their premium. <laughs> I know that's a terrible reason. But anyways, stay tuned till the end because I'm going to do this. And it's all going to be live right here, guys. Um, we'll see what happen, what happens together. Um, but let's jump right into the price action 29 guys. Woo! We are going to break it break 30k uh, by Maybe mid-january. I don't know. We might see a retracement I really don't care what happens at this point if we go up we go up if we get a negative 30% retracement We get a negative 30% retracement. I honestly don't care. I'm holding we'll see what happens guys Ethereum, I'm actually a little more intrigued on what's going to happen here in the short term because if you remember what I showed you yesterday we were around the same price in 2017 right and in the beginning of 2018 we went straight up within two weeks we went straight up to 14.4 14 and fourteen hundred and forty dollars right so we could very easily see the same thing happen this year because Q1 has historically been a good quarter for Ethereum against Bitcoin, and I could see that happening. Now let's jump into Polkadot. It's at 920, guys. Let's refresh the page. Maybe it's at 100. Nope, not 100 yet, guys. So it's 920, absolutely on a tear. I'm glad this is my fourth largest holding after Chainlink and after Ethereum and after Bitcoin. Actually, Bitcoin's my second largest. But look at that chart, guys. You cannot afford not to hold Polkadot and Chainlink this cycle. It, there are new tokens has have not gone through a bull market yet. 27. See, look at that. Like, whole what what is happening, guys? You want to see? So XRP is not dead. If they their lawsuit, they have the they have uh, the court schedule court case schedule for like mid February to see if they will be declared a security or not and if they're not declared a security expect the price of XRP to pump significantly um, especially if they're deemed a currency which I highly 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 doubt that and if they do you can um, I don't know what you can do but I, I don't see how they can be deemed a currency guys they're most certainly a security it's all it's so obvious but anyways let's go into some news so the financial crime enforcement network wants u.s persons who hold crypto in offshore accounts to report holdings worth over ten thousand dollars so if you have um crypto in a, a, another exchange from anywhere in the world derbit anywhere um now you gotta register it. I am unsure that this is this includes just normal Ethereum wallets because if it does, I am not I am not um, going to be doing that because that is require exchanges to store customers' information. Okay, so it seems like um, it's simply exchanges that are not U.S. exchanges or crypto banks that are not u.s crypto banks um but anyways that's just some more regulatory clarity in crypto which is needed because it there's not much regulatory crypt, uh, regulation and like by the book known stuff in crypto it's very a lot of the tokens that are out right now probably 80 percent of them could be considered a security guys so be careful being considered security is kind of a dead in the water for the US market. But let's just listen into this recap of 2020, guys. 
2020 has been an amazing year for crypto. Everybody did not believe in us, but you believed in yourself and you deserve all the gains that you have received this year, guys. Money. Yes, we did. That's another way to think about it. Dun, dun, dun. The economic rescue package that dwarfs the entire national budget of the United States. The kitchen sink, folks, including corporate bonds, munis, asset-backed commercial paper. And there's no end to your ability to do that. There is no end to our ability to do that. Fucking crazy, guys. Feels like we crossed the Rubicon where everyone feels like money grows on trees. Uh, I really talked about it as kind of rocket fuel for Bitcoin's price. You, you basically dropped interest rates to zero. You printed a bunch of money. High profile investors ranging from Stanley Druckenmiller to Bill Miller to billionaire hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones have all showed support for Bitcoin this year. Bitcoins can be tomorrow's beanie babies. Well, now this time Square and PayPal are involved. The payment companies both launched the option to buy and sell cryptocurrencies with PayPal's product. You have corporations adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. Right. I think that this is the setup, meaning I think Bitcoin needed a moment like this for it to be relevant. Three, two, one. There is an enormous wall of money coming into this. Most Bitcoiners are not going to sell their Bitcoin. Right? Breaking through 20,000 yesterday and almost uh, touched 24,000 at this point. But it's an unbelievable creation. Bitcoin is an entire network. I'm getting Bitcoin. Fuck this shit. No, oh, that that gave me chills, guys. That gave me chills because just the amount of bull loney that I personally had to put up with in my life, people that were ignorant about Bitcoin. Uh, just talking about me like I was an idiot and I'm sure every one of you guys have experienced that too because everybody's doubters until they want to get in on the action and they're like I don't know it's just tough it's tough now people are asking me about crypto and I'm just like man now that is might not be the t best time to get into crypto I I don't really I mean, just if you want to get in crypto, just make sure you're in it for the long term and dollar cost average. That's what I tell everybody. But some people just throw all their money in it and they like send it. And I'm like, man, you could have done this a year ago and you would have been so much better off. But you didn't take the time to understand Bitcoin. So Bitcoin block, 126,000. 12 years from now is going to be epic. This fun little fact. So sixth block subs, man, I don't know. It's just going to be an epic block. First happening plus difficulty adjustment. Um, there is, oh, first block under one Bitcoin in reward, right? That's what I want it to. Uh, so it's going to be a having the day of the happening and it's going to have to be the first block with under one Bitcoin reward, guys. So just know that Bitcoin is a hard uh, monetary, it's uh it's hardening as a financial asset guys so it's not like quantitative easing or it's not getting less hard as an asset it's getting harder and it every happening that goes by it's more sustainable and it's harder to it's harder to get rid of so uh vanek has refiled its application for bitcoin etf here's why so basically they just refiled it i mean they have been trying several times they the last time they tried was september 2019 and now they're going to try again we'll see if they get approved if they did more bullish news if not it is what it is next this is why i love DeFi and ethereum pretty wild when you take a step back and look at what just happened decentralized prediction market on omen which is dx dow uses Decentralized reporting service, Reality ETH, for a resolution. Resolution fails to be conclusive, so falls back on decentralized court, Claros, for final decision. And the court case just came out, and this is on the prediction market of the election, right? So the election was, uh, it's been up in the air for a while, and it kind of is now still, but not really. I mean, it's really not up in the air anymore biden is more or less the president um but anyways that's why i love it because this is what DeFi is all about is decentralized problem solving and problem res, res, res resolutions right so 
so most important chart of 2020 i tend to agree with them this is the money supply growth look at this spike i mean it's just plain and simple uh, the U.S. government, every financial stressful situation they get in, financial collapse situation, they need to print more money to get out of it. They're, the the tolerance the U.S. economy has to free mon money has grown exponentially. Every time, every time they print more money, the U.S. economy gains tolerance to inflow of free money. Right, so it is like a crack addict. Uh, keep and they keep taking uh do uh, shots you don't do shots of crack you smoke crack so so i mean it, it's like every time you smoke crack you gain tolerance and crack is printing money so keep that in mind don't smoke crack uh please <laughs> i don't really care if you smoke crack go smoke crack if you want i don't really care just stay safe <laughs> Okay, whatever. Um, 2017 bubble was three year, years ago. Still beats holding gold. Fun. We were having fun. Peter Shift. He's a little punching bag. It's kind of fun to make fun of Peter Shift, guys. Come on. I know it's not necessarily a nice, but it's pretty fun. And now let's go to normalize celebrating other people's winning. So I want you to win. I don't want you to lose. And I want you to win at everything you do. And... I, I hope the Dingles community will be there for when you fail because if you uh, pursue anything worth pursuing, you're you're probably going to fail a couple times. So pursue something you want to pursue and just know that the Dingles community will always be there for you and I will be there for you and we will try our best to for everybody to reach their full potential and lastly lastly before we light this baby off um, I, I truly believe you are the result or the sum of the people you surround yourself with. So if we make a good quality community within the Dingles ecosystem, not ecosystem, the Dingles uh, Telegram chat, YouTube comments, Twitter, if we make a great community, guys, we will all be successful and all see results from being active participants in an awesome community, guys. So go ahead and subscribe and subscribe like uh, join the telegram chat um this year is going to be amazing and now let's celebrate let me move this mic away i am scared actually i have sweaty palms holy moly that <laughs> these firecrackers have been in uh in my closet at my house for probably five years so if they don't explode i would not be surprised oh my god dude all right 22021 Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Oh, no, dude. What do I do? What do I do? All right. Oh, shit, guys. This is not good. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out. I guess it didn't explode. This was unsuccessful. Hopefully this is not how 2020 will turn out. All right, like and subscribe.